Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bha shame krupya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Woman de jemu te gong do jung yu yen, chin kan suprememastertv.com xie xie schedule. Ranjangan kami menawakan banyak bahasa, sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. برامجنا متوفرة بالعديد من اللغات يرجى زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule ناشا برنامج بيتلاقيت منوكا يا زيكو بجالوستا بس ماتفيدي suprememastertv.com كساي جرتا schedule ناشي تي بردواني بردواغت نوغو ازيزي مولي ويشتي suprememastertv.com نكوانا جرتا schedule If your ego mislead you make you think that you are a sage a saint, higher level saint, then, then the demons can come and make use of that and harm you. And spiritually lost is worse than losing a thousand lives bodily. Very difficult to find that again. Very difficult to find a master already. <laughs> Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Aulas is also known as Vietnamese. Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Amables saludos, elegantes espectadores. Mi nombre es Serena. La amorosa gente de Venezuela siente su bondadosa presencia. Venezuela está en la costa norte de América del Sur, limitando con el Mar Caribe y el Océano Atlántico Norte. El suave clima tropical, abundante vida silvestre y maravillosa belleza del paisaje y archipiélago han forjado a Venezuela en un paraíso en la tierra. Según Conservación Internacional, Venezuela es megadiverso, pues posee un vasto número de diferentes especies, muchas no se encuentran en ninguna otra parte del planeta. Venezuela está entre los primeros 20 países del mundo con las fuentes más grandes de agua dulce. La cascada ininterrumpida más grande del mundo es el famoso y espléndido Salto del Ángel con 979 metros, 
situado en lo profundo de la selva de Venezuela. Este cae en picada sobre el filo de la montaña Aullán Tepuy, la meseta, en el vasto y remoto Parque Nacional Canaima. Es un placer introducirles brevemente a ustedes las maravillas naturales de Venezuela, gentiles espectadores. Les deseamos milagrosos días y mágicas noches por delante. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada, ella imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que deseen descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Confucio, Guru Nanak, Jesucristo, Lao Tse, el Señor Krishna, el Señor Mahavira, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor, a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai está profundamente agradecida con el amado Dios por toda la ayuda financiera, consuelo y apoyo para los afligidos y necesitados y o oh, cualquier buena causa a través de los años, como una humilde receptora para su compasión y amor hacia sus preciados hijos. La Maestra Suprema Ching Hai recibe apoyo y amor de numerosas organizaciones, medios de comunicación, gobiernos y personas individuales, así como muchos galardones de su parte como por ejemplo el Premio Gusi de la Paz 2006, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, el Premio al Liderazgo Mundial Espiritual en 1994, el premio Mahavir en el 2008, la proclamación de los días 22 de febrero y 25 de octubre como Día de la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, nombrada Ciudadana Honoraria de los Estados Unidos, etc. Y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias.
nos disculpamos por no poder mostrar otros muchos premios y honores por falta de espacio y tiempo. Como verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de productos vegetales y prevé, con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas, un tranquilo y glorioso mundo, completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas, y entre ellas se incluyen la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, los restaurantes veganos internacionales, Loving Hat, empresas de productos de alimentación vegana, productos de piel vegana, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, etc. Tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no, sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida respetuoso con los animales y de cómo esta manera benevolente puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones, a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático y de los desastres. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre muchos temas espirituales. Hoy tenemos la bendición de presentar una de estas inspiradoras conferencias titulada El Sutra Surangama, los estados demoníacos de la forma y sentimiento escandas, parte 2 de 9, en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, impartida en inglés el 26 de diciembre del 2018 en Taiwán, también conocida como Formosa. but his body remained intact and unharmed. This state, this state, when we, you reach this state, it is called the pure light surging through one's physical body, even surging through your physical body as well, not just uh, in front of you, but it does surge through, surge, not, not surge, uh, searching, you know, running through and strongly. So they call it searching through, the light searching through your physical body. That's why worm or whatever, insect, whatever, bacteria cannot bear. They just be destroyed, gone, hmm? maybe incinerated <laughs> by that light. Yeah, when you just see the, the light in front of you, maybe It's different, but when that, in that second state, the light already infused your whole body, yeah, running through the whole body, then nothing can withstand it. Only the good things remain, only the elation. That's why you feel good, yeah? When you see the light like that, when you meditate, you see the light, oh, you feel so blissful and light, yeah? As if you don't have any body anymore. Yes, because all the bad elements has been cleansed out. And you feel pure again like a child. Yeah. So you feel so good. Yeah. Even if you still can be able to walk after you feel like you're walking on clouds. <laughs> you have nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that, huh? Some of you know that. Yeah. It's cool like that. <laughs> It is a temporary state in the course of intense practice. Even then, mark it. It's just a temporary state of 
enlightenment. It's not like not enlightenment. It is enlightenment. It's just not yet. It's just the beginners. And you already clean yourself of all the attached karmic retribution from your body in the form of worm, insect, bacteria, whatever that attached to your body. And does not indicate sagehood. Yeah. If he does not think he has become a sage, then this will be a good state for him. Of course, you progress. Yeah, good. If you don't think you are saint. Insane, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because you will feel too happy, you know, if people see you dancing happy, smiling all the time, all by yourself, and singing Buddha's pray, God's pray. People will think, oh, this guy, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> he talks to himself, he's happy, dancing all alone with no reason. Yeah? <laughs> maybe hugging other people and all that. Try not to, okay? <laughs> this world they are not used to with this kind of <laughs> ecstatic uh, state of mind and like uh, unconditional, you know, love. It's just too carefree. You might even take off your clothes dancing alone. You know. <laughs> ah, possible. No, possible. There's nothing to laugh at. Because <laughs> you couldn't care less, you know? You just don't feel like you're taking off clothes or anything. It's just natural, okay? That you don't feel like being uh, confined to anything anymore, yeah? Uh, it's just simple, you know, just like that. You're like a kid. If you don't want to wear clothes, you just take it off. You think nothing. Only when we grow up that we become a little bit truly <laughs> uh, judgmental, yeah? And then wear this clothes, that's clothes, and uh, if you don't, then woe to you. The police will try to wear something on you. <laughs> if you don't wear clothes, the police will wear something for you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the problem with our world. But when a kid don't wear nothing, when a little kid don't wear, nobody, no police will come and put chain on him or her, right? Just when we grow up, what's the difference? When you are a kid, as a boy, maybe just smaller in everything size, but it's still, you don't wear clothes. So why is it when you grow bigger and you wear no clothes, then, then you have problem? Huh? <laughs> San Francis, when he was still a monk, huh? he's, he's a monk. Sometimes he see people have no clothes outside, he just take off everything, give it to him, and then walk home like that. And all the monks go him, this is indecent, this is very bad, bad boy, why you do this? Uh, he said, I, I didn't know it's a bad thing to do. <laughs> it's just somebody has no clothes. Some poor people, cold and have no clothes, so I, I give it to him. We monks are supposed to give, no, <laughs> so innocently, <laughs> innocently. Yeah, because he was in such a state of mind that he don't think too much. That's why sometimes he lifts himself up, uh, his body went up to the top of the church. Yeah, it's not because he wanted. it. Just sometimes he's in that state of mind, okay? Mm. Also, maybe he has attained some of this power that he can levitate without even wanting. I told you in uh, some other time, Sunday, I could do all that. Just I had to exchange it to be here. I exchange everything. <laughs> Sit in front of you, it's just a normal human, a very helpless. Yeah, maybe I have some wisdom. <laughs> Power, everything you see, is only from inside. Cannot show it to the world, what I have. Jesus, I guess, if he did not cure the dead, if he did not bring the dead back to life and cure the blind and heal the sick, all that, so obviously, probably he would have lived longer. These kind of things are the heavier interference with karma, mm -hmm. okay? Physically, in the external world, you don't use this. Of course, the magician and all that, they do this, but they are different, okay? They will come back again. So nobody cares. The Maya don't run after them. But if a master who came down here already signed contract to relinquish everything and don't show his power in this world and do that, then he will have to pay. You have to pay. If you save one life, you have to pay with your life. It's like anyone else. Yeah, it's a very sad thing, but you know, but everybody liked it that way at that time. Even his mother forced him to 
do the magic trick again, make water into wine. And Jesus did not want it. He even said, why, Mother, why did you force me to do this? Mother wanted <laughs> to show off. And maybe some people expect him to, to cure their sickness, yeah? Or some disciples just hurra on so because of my master, you know, he can do all this. I show you. Bring the sick here. He'll do it. <laughs> They're just too enthusiastic, yeah? Just like beginner, you know? You just want to tell the whole world, your master is so great, can do this, can do that. But that's the inside thing. But if you lay hand on somebody and wake him up from the dead, that is a different thing. Hmm? But if he consider himself a sage, then he will be vulnerable to the demon's influence. Okay, that's the second state. Still be influenced by demons. Only if your ego trick you, <laughs> your ego will tell you that, okay, you are already a Buddha and stuff like that, then you'll be in trouble. Hmm? Just watch yourself. <laughs> Don't watch anybody else. <laughs> Don't even worry about somebody come kill you or anything. Watch your ego. That's the worst enemy we could have. If people kill you, maybe you, you, you die, okay, fine. Then you come back again. You still have this enlightening power. And then you will connect with another master somehow. Yeah? Because your stage already high. The master is easy to find. You will understand that you must find the master. And when you find one, you understand right away. <laughs> Even you have not reached the highest stage in last life, but you're already on the way. So if you meet another guy and you ask to go into Meoli, he tell you, you know it. Oh yeah, that's a place I want to go. Okay, and then you follow him. But if your ego mislead you, make you think that you are a sage, a saint, higher level saint, then, then the demons can come and make use of that and harm you. And spiritually lost is worse than losing a thousand lives bodily. Very difficult to find that again. Very difficult to find a master already. <laughs> If you lose your spiritual power, it's even worse. Huh? Then you cannot find another master. Because you will be so blurred now. Huh? You will not understand that you have to find a master or anything anymore. You just completely mix into the six paths of existence. You never think of anything about spiritual or finding a master even. Yeah. You completely forget your purpose to, to be born as human. Yeah. It's the same in, uh, in hell. I told you I don't want you to go to hell. You will not remember. You don't know your master's name. You don't know anyone that you can call upon to help. At that time, because you doomed already. Okay? Finished. Now, this is the third stage. Okay, the Buddha described further. Further, as the person uses his mind to intently investigate inside and outside his physical and spiritual souls, intellect, will, essence, and spirit will be able to interact with one another without affecting his body. Wow, this is another wondrous state. They will take turns as hosts and guests. Then he may suddenly hear the Dhamma being spoken in space. Some of Buddha's disciples at that time heard those things. Maybe some of you also hear it, you know? Or you meditate, you just hear some preaching of the truth somewhere. You know, it's not like from the microphone, from your record player, video, nothing. You sit in an empty forest and then you hear the Dharma preaching. Maybe from Buddha, maybe from Master, maybe from other Master, maybe from Jesus, etc., etc. Huh? This is a wonderful stage also. Or perhaps he will hear esoteric truths being pronounced simultaneously throughout the ten directions. This state is called the essence and souls alternately separating and uniting and the planting of good seeds. That is the third state. <laughs> It's a long state. <laughs> It is a temporary state and does not indicate sagehood. Sagehood not necessarily mean Buddhahood, okay? Maybe Bodhisattva, a stage lower, but still a saintly, a sage, yeah? Okay. So if he does not think he has become a sage, then this will be a good state. 
Yeah, one step up the ladder. But if he considers himself a sage, then he will be vulnerable to the demon's influence, as usual above. Okay, next date. I'm trying to keep my calendar intact, okay? I, I read only today, I behave. <laughs> Further, when the person's mind becomes, I mean, really, you want me just to read out? Just to read? Huh? No? Comment? Yeah. <laughs> Calendar is my favorite part. Calendar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a blah on her. <laughs> Actually, I'm telling you, just entertaining you. I don't know how much you understand and how much you believe and how much you will practice. I saw evidence everywhere. Yeah? Many small things I teach, uh, you guys don't keep. I don't mean the precepts, something about the environment, for example, yeah? So if you listen and understand, then I'm very happy for you. If you don't, well, business as usual, okay? I don't expect much from you in this time of Dharma and in age. And the Buddha is far away already, okay? This is a small thing, for example, I say you don't use toilet paper, okay? You use the water and soap light detergent, uh, organic and non-toxin detergent to wash yourself. I don't see that in some of the disciples' house. And they built me a little room somewhere in where I used to be before. My first place is in the mountain. We didn't have a lot of money, just buy a piece of land and then put up tent to stay. And that was a long time ago. And then uh, they build a little place there for me, but the, the bathroom, the toilet, don't have this extra spray. With that spray, you can clean the residue inside under the toilet seat. It's make your house cleaner. Don't have. <laughs> Lucky I, I knew. <laughs> I know my disciples. <laughs> I have my own. You know, you can bring a bottle or something like that, but it's not the same. It's not as convenient and as good cleaning like a spray attached to your toilet. You understand? A small spray, long like this, and a small head. Not like a shower head, but smaller, like very little. You spray around it. Also clean yourself. Perfect. Mm? Good for environment. Save a lot of trees. Because sometimes they don't just use a that tree, they don't have enough time to wait for the tree to die to use it. They just use any trees. Hmm? Imagine, we are billions of people. Everybody uses a little bit of paper every day. Imagine how many trees have died, flushed down the toilet. How much work has gone to that job. How much pollution for the planet, because these paper, they use bleach to make it white, so it look it more clean, yeah? But the bleach, you go where, you know, right? Go into your river, yeah, and the sea. And slowly, slowly, river are too polluted to use, the sea are dead, mm? dead sea, etc., etc. Not just about money, not just about listening to master teaching. It's about you and your world and the world of your children. This is a very small thing, even very convenient. Just call the plumber, he attach it in no time. You could even do it yourself. I could do it myself also. I don't mean all of you, okay? When I say you in general, okay? I know some of you did it. I know, I know. I asked one of the doctors in Taiwan, he said, oh, we, we listen to what you said, Master, we don't use toilet paper anymore. But in my own home, my helpers want to use them. So I took all the toilet paper rolls away, I stuck it all in mine, and I said, you don't have any more. <laughs> and now you use what I told you to use, and keep that there in case for anything. You can." Or if you already bought it, you can use it for something, wipe the floor as a spill or something. I use it until it's done or blow your nose with whatever, but later don't buy no more. Yeah? And in my house right now, my so-called house, they still use this uh, kitchen 
paper towel up. That is the worst case also. The bleaching are oh, no end. And it's very dirty. If you use it to wipe your utensil, your cooking utensil or your bowls, that is very bad for you. Very bad. Only use it really when there's really urgent nothing else, you can, you no choice, okay? Otherwise, don't use it. <laughs> I had rather, you know, clean it on my body, really. Uh, this kitchen rolls, white, like snow, look clean, but no, very dirty. So many chemicals go in there, and it's very bad for environment. Then I know, you see, not everybody listen to me. Even though it's good for them, good for environment. When you protect the environment, you have merit as well, not just protect your pocket. You protect the trees, you protect the earth. They're all grateful to you, they bless you. And you don't have the karma of killing, killing trees, killing the environment, killing many bacteria that go in the process of making this bleaching white paper. Huh? I teach you what I do from my own experience, and I know what's good for you. I don't just tell you to do it, and I do differently. It's not true. It's not like that. I do exactly <laughs> what I tell you. But then if you don't listen, then what can I do? Huh? I'm too busy. I can't just go in around chasing who, who did this, who put this paper, you know, change it quickly. It's too much sometimes, yeah? And I don't use that even. I don't use that. <laughs> if I don't have any towel, I use my clean clothes. <laughs> to wipe whatever I need to. Hmm? Yeah. And I use my dirty clothes to wipe my bathroom floor after the shower or something. It's wet. I don't, I don't use that kind of paper. I don't use clean towels, so I don't have to wash double. Because about my bathroom clean anyway, just water, you know, or maybe a little soapy. So I, the, the clothes that I change, I use it <laughs> to wipe. I do everything with the consideration for the next generation as well, okay? Not just I'm comfortable and I don't see anything else, it's not like that. Also with the love for the environment. Amables espectadores, apreciamos su compañía en el episodio de hoy titulado El Sutra Surangama, los estados demoníacos de la forma y sentimiento escandas, parte 2 de 9 en Entre Maestra y Discípulos. A continuación sigue Selección de las Sagradas Enseñanzas Teosóficas, La Voz del Silencio, fragmento 2, Los Dos Caminos, Parte 2 de 2, en palabras de sabiduría, justo después de noticias de interés. Por favor, sigan en sintonía de Supreme Master Television para más programación positiva. Que la divinidad los colme con felicidad y amor gentil a través de sus vidas. Caring viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Surangama Sutra, The Demonic States of the Form and Feeling Scandals, Part 2 of Night, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selection from Theosophy's Sacred Teachings, The Voice of the Silence, Fragment 2, The Two Paths, Part 2 of Two, on words of wisdom right after no worthy news please stay tuned to supreme master television for more positive programming may the divine shower you with happiness and gentle love throughout your lives 
Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.